Oh my God, you guys, I have to tell you this story. So I'm flying. So I do an episode of Kroll show. Um, and always working with Nick Kroll, you're guaranteed you're going to laugh your ass off all fucking day. Can I kiss the kid's ass? And he, I, I fucking love him. I think he's, I think he's a fucking genius. So anyways, um, I go, I go to the airport and I'm taking the red eye, taking this 1055 flight non fucking stop. Cause that's how I do it. All right. I'm on a good plane. Why would I want to get off it and switch and roll the dice and get on another one? You know, let's just fucking get there. When it, when I drive up to San Francisco, I don't pull over and fucking uh, Burbank and then get, get into another car. We get it, Bill. All right. So I get on the fucking plane, right? I use my miles, bump myself up like a fancy person. You know, maybe maybe I invented the Cheesecake Factory, people are thinking. And then they see how I'm dressed and they go, oh, no. He didn't invent the Cheesecake Factory. Um. And I go to go to sit down in my seat and I go to set my bag down. I was going to set it down right in front of me. And the nice fella sitting next to me goes, why don't you stick it in the middle? There's room. And he moved his bag out of the way. I'm like, all right, this guy's a solid dude or whatever. And then all of a sudden the waitress comes by, a stewardess, whatever. She comes by, um, flight attendant, whatever the fuck you're supposed to call him. She comes up and she, uh, can I get you gentlemen a drink? And I was like, yeah, can I get a, let me get a water, please. Ice or no ice? What? However you make it. Stop acting like it's a fucking martini. It's all right. Just give me a water with ice. Thank you. Um, and the, the guy next to me, he orders a doers. Neat. No ice. No nothing. Just put it in there. So they bring our drinks. All right. And I'm really thirsty. So I start sucking mine down and he just throws his back like it's nothing. Like fucking John Wayne. Right before he's going to turn around and beat up three guys. Three mustachioed guys in the 1930s, right? So um, I'm just sitting there, and everybody's getting on the flight, you know, and I'm looking around at the passengers, you know, I'm fucking doing whatever I'm doing, and all of a sudden the guy next to me, Mr. Dewars, goes to me, uh, he goes, excuse me, he goes, are you afraid to fly? And I looked at him, I was like, what? He goes, are you afraid to fly? And I go, no, no, I'm not. And he goes, he goes, all right, but you know, it's, <clears throat> he goes, it's okay. You know, it, it's okay to tell me if you're afraid to fly. And it's immediately getting weird. And I'm like, no, I'm not afraid to fly. And then I'm thinking in my head, wait, is he afraid to fly? And that's why he's drinking the way he just drank. And now he's hoping that I'm going to be afraid to fly. So he, you know, he just wants to open up. That's what I'm thinking. And I, I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not afraid to fly. And he won't leave it alone. He goes, all right, because, you know, you're, you're, you're fidgeting. You're looking around at other passengers. And I'm sitting there looking at the, like, is this guy fucking serious? And I go, no. I go, I'm not afraid to fly. So now I'm like, fuck this guy. I'm not talking to this guy for the rest of the flight. This guy's weird, man. It's like 30, just get paint the picture. He's like 32-year-old, wiry, <clears throat> In shape, but like wiry white dude. He's got a scully cap on with fucking glasses. Um, <clears throat> you know. And uh, he goes, uh, like, there's like a minute of silence and people are still getting on the plane. And then he goes, hey, sorry about that. Sorry, we, we just we just got off on the uh, wrong foot. He's like, my name's so-and-so. He goes, what's your name? And then I'm thinking in my head, like, what's my name? My name's Frank. I wanted to give him like a, but I just, some reason I just went, it's, it's Bill. And he goes, oh, hey, Bill. And he goes, nice to meet you. So we shake hands. And I'm just looking at, I don't have any poker face. I'm looking at the guy like, what the fuck is your problem? I'm not even trying to not, I'm not trying to be pleasant. I'm already done with this guy. So then the guy goes, oh, hey, Bill. He goes, why are you going to Indianapolis, Bill? Right? Like he's fucking interrogating me. And I, I'm like, is this guy fucking serious? And I start doing the math in my head going, wait, is this guy like an air marshal or something? And I'm like, no, he's not. He's fucking slamming booze over here. Fuck this guy. So I just go, I go, look, I don't, I don't have to answer your questions. <laughs> That's it. And I just look straight forward. <clears throat> he goes, okay, now I'm concerned. Okay. I am concerned. And I'm looking at him like, Concerned about what? 
He goes, you're fidgeting. You're, you, you have issues with other passengers and blah, 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 blah. He starts painting like, like this, like he's been, I don't know what the fuck, like psychologically breaking me down. All right. So now at this, by this point, they've closed the fucking the door to the fuselage and we're starting to taxi. And I just finally look at the guy and I, and I go, I go, you know, I, I came up with the fight. One point I literally stick my hand out because he kept saying I was nervous and I stick my hand right in front of his face and I hold it level. Oh, that's what I did the first time. Yeah, I, I hold it level. I go, I'm not nervous. And he goes, well, anybody can do that. And that's when I was like, fuck this guy. I'm not talking to the guy. Sorry, fuck this story up. Then, then, he, then he came back, got my name. Now he's going, why are you going to Indianapolis? And I finally look at him. I say, listen, pal, I'm drinking waters. You're drinking doers. Okay? There's no issue over here. And then he goes, it wasn't doers. What she gave me wasn't doers. Really? What was it? Some sort of spy juice? You fucking jerk off? At this point, I want to punch him right through his fucking stupid wiry glasses. Right? So he's going like, you look around hostile. And I said something that just ticked him off. I was just, yeah, dude, I go, I don't have to answer your questions. All right, leave me alone. And then he goes, uh, he goes, he goes, he starts going like, okay, now I am really concerned right now. He goes, why are you going to Indianapolis? And I just look at him. You know what I start doing? I start doing like this Ryan Gosling. You know, that little smirk, that fucking Mona Lisa smile he has as he smirks his way through all his fucking movies. I do. I go full on Ryan Gosling. Now I'm not talking to this guy. And I just keep looking at him. And I give him that little half a smirk and I just shake my head. That's my game now. That's this is my it's like if you're going to be a dick right now with your fucking delusional authority. Right. That you're going to like we're in fucking Guantanamo and you're going to waterboard me. Huh? There's no water. There's no board. Go fuck yourself. Here's my smirk. And I'm just going to shake my head at you like you're a fucking pathetic human being. This is what I'm doing. Right. And this is the funny thing. I'm such a dick. All I have to say to the guy is I'm a comedian. I'm going to do a sold out show there. And that would make him back off. But I'm a dick. I'm like, fuck this guy. I want to see where this is going. So now he's all fucking amped up and he starts dropping F, you know, he's saying the F word. He's sitting there going, if you don't, he goes, if you don't fucking answer my question right fucking now, I am going to hit that call button. We're sitting there taxiing down the fucking, getting in the line. I'm going to fucking hit this fucking button if you blah, 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 blah. And I'm just fucking Mona Lisa smile, smirking, just shaking my head like you are a fucking retard, right? So now he's, he's saying the F word so much. The lady who's sitting in front of me, diagonally in front, right in front of him, turns around and looks at us. And now my heart's racing. I'm like, where's this going? This is going to be great. I am 100% fucking innocent. This guy's drunk. And I think he's going to hit that button. Oh, I got a feeling he's going to hit that button. What's going to happen, right? I want to see what the pilot looks like. Let's see where the fuck this is going, right? So he goes, you know, fuck you. He starts starts bringing his hand up to the button going, I'm going to hit that button. You don't think I'll fucking do it? I'll hit that button. And I'm sitting there smirking at him, thinking in my head, go ahead, hit the fucking button. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens, right? So finally, now he wants to hit the button, and he can't fucking find it. And it's in, in defense of him, I couldn't find it either. I was looking up there. I half wanted to hit it myself. Then he finally, he finally finds it, and he hits it. Boom! Right? And now I'm just like, holy shit, what's going to happen? And he's sitting there going, yeah, huh? You want to fucking play this game? You want to fucking play this game? And I was surprised. I mean, it took like fucking like 30 seconds before a flight attendant the one who gave him the booze, which evidently wasn't booze, comes over. And at this point, we're like doing that shit where we're behind a plane. We're almost ready to take off. Like we're pulling up and then stopping, pulling up, then stopping as planes are taking off. So she goes, yeah, what's the problem over here? And he goes, uh, I'm not comfortable to fly with this guy. This guy, he's fidgeting. He's looking around at other fucking people, blah, 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 blah. blah. He's doing all this thing, right? And then the stewardess looks at me and I'm just sitting there fucking my little smirk, just shaking my head. And I just looking at this dude, just shaking my head like this guy's out of his fucking mind. I don't say a word. And this guy goes on and on and on about his fucking psycho babble about how I'm this security risk. So she goes to, so she goes, okay, um, any other passengers? Have you noticed anything? She's talking to everybody first class at this point. <laughs> Has anybody noticed anything odd about this guy? And the lady who was sitting right in front of the dude diagonally from me turns around. She goes, yeah, I've been listening to this guy berating this other passenger. She's on my side. 
And I haven't said a fucking word. This is great. And I'm just sitting there smirking. Then the stewardess looks at me and I shrug my shoulders like, I don't know what to tell you. So finally she said, sir, do do you have anything to add to this? And I just said, look, I'm just a guy trying to go to Indianapolis. This guy over here, he starts slamming his doors. I kind of felt like a rat when I said that. I go, he's slamming his doors. Next thing you know, he's dropping the F-bomb to me. Then I'm thinking, oh, fuck. I just said bomb, right? Fortunately, nothing happens. So now another fucking, the male stewardess comes over, right? Now he's going like, what's going on? And the captain of the fucking, now at this point, we've pulled over and the plane has stopped. 250 people trying to get to Indianapolis and jerk off over here who can't hold this fucking alcohol who just watched a uh, person of interest every, every, I guess, evidently. I have no fucking idea. Now the plane has stopped. This fucking jerk off has stopped the plane interrogating a goddamn comedian like I'm in the fucking Taliban and like he works for the CIA, right? So now we're just sitting there. <laughs> and the captain is up front in the plane, like, saying to the stewardess, is going, basically relaying, do I really have to fucking come back there? This is the last flight of the night. Is there really a goddamn problem? And that was the vibe. And they finally said to the douche sitting next to me, are you going to be okay to fly with him? And at that point, it appeased his fucking ego that he was somehow in control. And he goes like, you know what? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So they go, okay. So now the plane's going again. And now now we fucking come around and he's sitting there fucking he's in my ear. And at this point, I am laughing. Like the fucking laugh you hear me doing the podcast. That's what I'm doing. And he's sitting there going, oh, I, I, he goes, you know what? I'm glad. I'm glad you st- I, I hope you fucking do. I hope you fucking try something. I hope you fucking try something when we're up there. I really hope you fucking try something. And I'm just fucking like gut busting, laughing, shaking. My, like, what are you going to fucking do to me? What are you going to do to me? Huh? Are you going to punch me in the face, you fucking wiry jackass with your fucking glasses on? You know, that's a federal offense. You're going to go to jail if you do that or something. I don't know what, right? So I'm just sitting there fucking laughing at the guy going, I actually, at one point, I put my fucking little eye pillow thing on, you know, like I'm going to sleep. Oh, I had that out too. When the stewardess was talking to me, I was like putting it on as this total mind fuck. Like, I I don't know what this guy is. I'm just trying to go to Indianapolis. I'm going to sleep. And, um, so I got, I got my fucking eye thing on, right? As he's sitting there threatening me, just I was going total passive aggressive. It's like, dude, I'm so not concerned with you. I'm literally putting a blindfold on. All right. So this fucking guy, he starts going. He goes, yeah, he goes, you think you fucking won this? You think you fucking won this? He goes, you know, my dad is my dad. He started saying his dad's some major CEO in Indianapolis. Doesn't sound like a fucking made up story. I swear to God, this is all true. He goes, my my dad is some a major CEO in indianapolis and i'll have you fucking arrested and the lady turns around again i'll have you fucking arrested the second we get on the ground i'm thinking like for what for what sitting here you fucking loser learn how to hold your alcohol all right and he starts describing the view that i'm gonna have when i go to jail like some fucking law and order episode oh you're gonna love it you'll be able to see lucas oil field and blah 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 blah, and i'm just sitting there cracking up laughing and then there's this pause right and I'm thinking, finally, he finally shut the fuck up. It's like a three, four minute pause. He finally just gave up because I wasn't giving him anything. I was just laughing and shaking my head. I was being a dick to him. I was because I was enjoying it. And then there was like a three minute pause. And then all of a sudden he just goes, why are you going to Indianapolis, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> so we're like 20 minutes into the flight. And I got to be honest with you, my adrenaline was so going during all of that because I knew I didn't do anything wrong, but I thought we were literally going to go back and there was going to be fucking cops there. And like if, 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 if the fucking stewardess or the pilot asked me who I am and where I'm going, I'm going to tell them I respect your authority. You're just some je- I don't you don't have any fucking authority. I don't have to answer your questions. It was pro- it was one of the most fun experiences I've ever had with another human being. Like when somebody thinks that they have power and you know they don't. And all they can do 
is try just keep bluffing and raising their voice and start cursing at you. And if you just start laughing at them, the look on their face is fucking priceless. So the last thing he said, he said, why are you going to Indianapolis, Bill? Right. And I fucking started howling, just fucking holding my stomach, shaking my head. And with my fucking eye pillow thing on, right? And I know I'm going to get a ton of shit that I wear one of those. I, they're fucking underrated. Get the one at Brookstone where it's literally a pillow. I'm telling you, you could fall asleep 12 noon facing the sun. It's awesome. So anyways, like after he, he asked me, what, what, you know, where you going, Bill? You're like, there was like a 10 minute, like probably 10 minutes had gone by. And I can't fucking sleep. Because it's so funny to me. And I can't wait to tell the story to every comic I know. I can't wait to try it on stage to see if it's funny or whatever. Uh, so finally, I just like, ah, oh, fuck it. Maybe I'll just get on my computer. And I bring up my eye pillow. And I like, I got to look at the guy because I know he's fucking staring at me, waiting for me to do something, right? So I lift it up. I get my fucking Mona Lisa smile going. And I look over at the guy. And dude, he is fucking passed out. <laughs> He looked like he got shot. He was sitting there like his head was just hanging straight down. And any time the plane moved, like his head was, I mean, he looked like he got knocked out. And for the rest of the fucking flight, old fucking, uh, oh, what's Matt Damon's character? Jack Ryan. Old fucking Jack Ryan over here is just, you know, the sky marshal. The fucking booze bag and God knows what else he was on. He was just completely out, passed out. For the rest of the fucking flight. And this is how much a dick I am. I was having so much fun with this guy. I start, I can't sleep. So I start slamming waters. Because I want to have to get up and take a piss just to see if this guy's going to freak out. Because this security risk is getting up. And this, the joke was on me. He never regained consciousness. And then I really had to take a piss. But I'm such a stubborn fuck. I was holding it because I wanted to make sure he was awake when I got up. Because I was going to give him a little smirk, and then I was going to get out to <laughs> see if he hit the call button again. Um, but he didn't. He didn't wake up till we, we hit the ground. And um, and then it's funny. Then he woke up, and it was like four hours later. So now he had kind of slept off whatever the fuck this guy was on. And I'm sitting there smirking, waiting for the guy to start talking. I mean, he won't look at me. And I, I, and I think at that point, he kind of fucking realized that maybe he got a little... Uh, a little extra, a little too patriotic. So we stop. We stop at the gate and everything, and we're going to get up. So I grab my shit, I get up, and I'm just kind of looking at him, and he won't look at me. And then the lady who was sitting in front of me had this big smile on her face. She goes, "How you?" She goes, "How you doing?" And I went, "Good." I go, "That." I go, "That was an interesting one." And I said it really loud so the guy heard, and he didn't say anything. And to, this is what he did to try to save face. His pillow was kind of stuck behind was kind of stuck behind his shoulder in like a weird place. So he was frustrated with it. So he he ripped it out from behind him and kind of threw it down on the floor and went, Ugh. like <laughs> try to do some caveman grunt to try to still have some sort of uh I don't know what. So So that was my flight to Indianapolis, people. Um you know what? How how far into the fucking podcast are we? That was a long that was a long fucking story.